Hey guys, welcome to Tone AI. My name is Shatish Sharma, and in this tutorial series, you are going to learn how to make your own software to fly a drone. In this series, we are going to make use of a Taylor drone, which is a DJI based drone. The drone is quite good, it's quite durable. Uh, I've tested it myself, it, it has fallen and crashed a bunch of times, but uh, the drone quality and the build is pretty strong and it also costs cheap so as you can see in the diagram in front of you it has an intel 14 core processor the tello just weighs 80 gram and it's quite small to be honest it's somewhere around 10 at a radius of 10 centimeter so do not expect a very big drone it has a propeller protection too and then is a collision detection so what happens is that let's say the drone is walking towards a window or some a wall is going to detect when it hits a, it's a bit, right? And it's going to uh, shut off the drone automatically and just the drone is going to drop dead. So try not to do that. You can buy the drone. It costs somewhere around $100. Uh, but I suggest that you buy the drone with the uh, accessories attached to it. So when you're trying to buy the Tello drone, you're gonna see that it's gonna come with some accessories. For example, it will have the drone, the propellers. There is a duplicate for each propeller and, the, and a battery. There's also a combo mode. So if you buy a combo mode, you'll be getting three batteries and a charger. So if you are developing, then it it's helps out a lot because the battery life is somewhere around 17 minutes. So you can just plug off the, the battery, let the Tello cool down, and then plug in the new battery and start flying again. So I definitely suggest to buy a Tello combo uh, in this case. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn a bunch of activities that you will you will be able to perform uh, with the Tello drone. In the entire series, we are going to make use of Python, uh, which is a programming language. It's quite widely used. The reason we are making use of Python is because it is a good amount of support for the language, and it has also has a good uh, SDK for the Tello drone. Other than that, we are going to learn a bunch of activities. So for example, if you are going to fly the Tello drone from their official app, they have a bunch of basic activities like how to take off, move forward, go back, rotate, uh, go up, go down, record a video, right? So we are going to replicate all those functionalities for our own software and our own application that we are going to build. Uh, the, some of the basic functions can be like take off, move forward, and then uh, land. So that's one very basic. And then you are going to build a functionality where you will be able to control the drone from your keyboard, right? That's quite uh, uh, versatile and it gives you a much more granular control. So if you ever have played games on your keyboard, uh, you can understand the feeling of controlling of something, a physical object from a keyboard. We'll also learn how to uh, program the software to take input from the gamepad and then send the commands to the drone and it's going to execute those commands too. We are also going to perform uh, a basic functionality in the most drones. That's why they're so popular recently. That's cinematography. The quality of the drones and the videos that are coming out in the industry right now is pretty good. So definitely it increases the overall picture quality and then the imagery and the photographic and the scenery is quite uh, spectacular too. So we are going to do the same. We are going to take the Tello drone feed and then we are going to learn how to save that feed into your own local laptop or machine. We are also going to perform basic functions like how to flip the drone from a command or when a, a user presses a key on the keyboard. So these are all are very basic functionalities. What we also want to do is that we also want to add uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence features to it. Because why not? We have the power of, uh, we have the computation power on your laptop. We have the libraries to do it, and we have a video feed. So you can imagine once, at the junction of all these three technologies, you can implement uh, machine learning algorithms. For example, like object detection. So your drone is going to fly in the air, and it's going to tell you what object is seen. We are also going to perform human post detection, where it's going to analyze a human pose and it's going to tell you in what, in what exact position the human is. We're also going to perform a face tracking where the drone can identify a face and it can track the face. It can go back and forth with the face and the body. 
we are also going to perform some, one of the most coolest and my favorite feature, that's uh, speech uh, control. So you will be able to control the drone from your speech. That gives you an immense amount of control over the drone. Because let's say the keyboard is not working or the game pack Bluetooth connection is lost, then you can always control the uh, drone from your voice. So we built our own application. Uh, this application is known as Drone AI. It's built on Electron. The Drone AI is a complete software to fly a drone or Tello, just like Tello. We made a software which is compatible with Tello right now, and we are in the process of adding more and more uh, drones to the software. The software runs on Mac OS X as well as on the Windows machine. So as you can see, all the features that I counted you out right now, we have, which we are going to build in this tutorial series, we have those features in our application. So for example, on the most left-hand corner, you will see an object detection. So if you click on that, it's going to tell you the, uh, it's going to show you the object. Human post detection, we have the face tracking, we have the voice command, we have different cinematographic features. We have a flight planner. You can design a flight plan and then you can execute it. For example, let's say two commands already take off and land. You want to go up when the drone takes off. So you say up and then move up for five seconds. So it's going to at a speed of 0 0.8 and then add. So the drone is going to move up for four meters um, in a time of five seconds roughly. We have a drone trajectory which shows you the location of your drone in 3D space. We have this drone status. So you will be also uh, able to fetch uh, different metrics from your drone. For example, the temperature, the speed, the, the Wi-Fi, if it's connected or not, the height of the drone from the origin of its takeoff. So you'll be able to fetch all that data. And we'll also be able to register the commands because as you can see, I'm pressing the keys on the keyboard. It's registering those commands and it's displaying what commands was, said, was sent. We have the drone control. So you can control the drone speed. You can take off, you can do an emergency landing, uh, you can land the drone, and then you can not only control the drone from the keyboard, but also the UI, and also the gamepad, and also your voice. So we, there are like four different ways how you can control your drone. No other application in the market offers you that kind of sophistication where you have not only all the basic functionality, but you also have the AI features, and we are adding more drones and making our artificial and machine learning technology much better. So all being said, I'm very much excited to start with this series. We are going to work on all of those uh, functionalities and features that I showed you step by step. In the first tutorial, we are going to do build a very, very basic uh, Python program, which is going to connect to your drone, take off, and then it's going to move forward, and then it's going to land. It's a very basic program. I'm glad you are here. and. Uh, I'm pretty much sure that you are, since you are interested in something like this, you are pretty smart and uh, we are going to take this journey together. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next video. Cheers.